The first time short skirts were a thing in the Western world was in the 1920s, known as the Roaring Twenties. And the Twenties were called Roaring because new technology and high-flying finance markets caused a boom time. Times were good, skirts were short. Knees and thighs were visible in public perhaps for the first time ever. Unless you want to count these guys. But I'm talking about the ladies here. <laughs> People who like to make up silly correlations noticed that hemlines rose and fell along with the cultural and financial optimism present. Hence was born the hemline index. But recently I've noticed a worrisome trend. The young set, say 18 to 25 year olds, where they're all primped and ready to go out and show themselves off, aren't wearing skirts at all. What's that predicting? Not long ago, I celebrated my 75th birthday. Uh, I'm in good shape. I'm living an enviable lifestyle in my retirement here in Bangkok with the uh, people around me who love me. Uh, I practice yoga four times a week. I intend to go on the road with that uh, in 2025. Uh, practicing and perhaps teaching in the United States, uh, Manila, Singapore, and of course here in Bangkok. I have a modest stock portfolio that's up 11% in the 10 months of uh, 2024. And uh, on top of that, there's a uh, between four and five percent dividends that will pay out by the end of the year. Um, my life is comfortable, healthy, prosperous, and fun. Why am I talking about that? Well, because you know, I took a month off social media to avoid the election kind of you know conversations that go on, especially on X. I'm making this video for the X platform, it'll be on YouTube as well, but. I, I'm, I'm focus a lot, focusing a lot of my activities on X, and there's a lot of political diatribe there that I wasn't interested in, so I took a month off, and I came back, and, um, you know, I guess about a week ago, and I've been posting regularly, but one of the things that jumped out at me, I, and I think it's just a natural human tendency for people to very often focus on, on the negative and, and, and the... Uh, and the dangerous and, and the, the stuff that's going to hurt them. I think we have this in, innate uh, sensibility that, that looks, you know, for danger and things that might hurt us. And that sublimates, it come, comes up from within and, and we express it in our, in our conscious expressions. And that happens a lot on social media. You see a lot of the negative stuff. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you are dialed in to that kind of negativity on social media you're playing the wrong game <laughs> so i'm talking about you know my life and how you know i remember when i was young we used to have a saying that you know never trust anybody over 30 live fast die young and leave a good looking corpse i had a few friends that actually did that i'm so glad that i didn't buy into that then and i'm certainly not buying it into it now because the past 15 years have been the best of my life and I've had a good life. Uh, yeah, you know, play good games, win better prizes. I guess that's what this is about. I opened up with this silly uh, uh, hemline index thing primarily because I wanted to post a couple of clips of pretty girls. <laughs> but it's a thing. It was a, the hemline index was something that said hemlines very often match the, uh, the the economic and social mood of of the times. And I don't know if that's true or not. But I, you know, I, I think we're having good time. We're having good times now, both economically and socially. If you go out there and and, and grab them, and and I guess that's what I wanted to say. I'm a little bit disappointed. I came down here to finish this video off because I came to this place that used to be a little urban park. I don't know who put it together, but we, it seemed like a community thing. And there were a bunch of flowers and a little pathway that you could walk around. I've come here quite frequently in the past because I could walk here from where I live and I've used it as a backdrop for 
photo shoots and other videos that I've done here. And, I, and I'm kind of bummed out because it's turned into, uh, you know, they, they've bulldozed it. Uh, now, what's going on here is that the uh, pathway along the canal over there, uh, they're, they, they're repairing and restoring and rejuvenating that pathway. Uh, and they're doing that all along the canal, which I suppose is a good thing. You know, infrastructure projects are not a bad idea. Uh, but they, they also, you know, bulldozed this little park. Now, I don't know what they're going to put in its place. I hope something as nice as the park that they bulldozed so you know with all my optimism in this video i'm a little bummed that they bulldozed my my flower park my community park here i don't know i'll, I'll suspend judgment until i see what's coming so yeah things are good um uh, you know uh, i've uh I have a few videos ruminating in my brain. I'm going to be do more, doing more writing and photography in the, in the, in the coming weeks, uh, but I'm traveling at the end of December to New York to visit my family there, another, another positive part of my good life and my good fortune, and uh, spending time with my children and grandchildren there, and I'll be practicing yoga and traveling a little bit around the New York City region. So uh, I'll be making some videos about that. One I'm looking forward to, I'm gonna spend a night in the TWA Hotel at JFK. I'm gonna make a video about that. That's an interesting place. It's an, actually a really interesting place and it'll make for uh, good video footage too because it's a very, vid, uh, very, a very visual place. It is my favorite clown boat passing by on the San Sep Canal. Life is good. Play good games. Win good prizes. See you soon.